All right, today is the day we get these mulch beds in tip top shape. So I've got three, four, four steps that I'm gonna do to get these things looking brand spanking new. So I've already gone ahead here, put down a nice, clean, crispy edge. You can watch that video here if you want. And then another thing that I did, I'm a big grass guy, as you guys know, and I had a lot of grass, good grass growing in here, still do, um, but I didn't want any of it to go to waste. So I took the pro plugger, pulled out as many plugs as I could, and I transplanted them to the front up there because I had some deer ravaging that spot. The rest of this, RIP, good grass. There are some weeds in here, but we gotta get these ripped out. Kids are funny, man. I Yesterday I started pulling these weeds and stuff out and I had my kids helping me. So we've got a pile of weeds here. And also in this pile, we've got tulips, liriope, all things that I wanted to keep, but gotta love them. No big deal. You guys want to hear one of the most satisfying sounds in the world? <sighs> so obviously fertilizers work, but if you ever had any question about the difference that they could make, look at that. I know I need to trim this bush, but no time today. But look at that. See how small that one is compared to this one? This is where I dump all the remnants from my spray tank, from my backpack sprayer, liquid fertilizers and biostimulants. When I rinse it out, I rinse it out right here, and I've been dumping it only on this one, not on this one. And yep, that's a big bush. Hi. Yeah. All right, I love you. I love you. Oh. All right, so what I'm using here, this is the Anderson's Easy Weeder. This thing's super easy to use. What a pre-emergent does, just like we put in our yard, it's going to put a layer in the soil to prevent weeds from growing up. So keep our mulch beds looking way, way nicer throughout the year. So all you do with this is you hold it right here by the handle, unzip this right here, and this is gonna open up. It's got holes in there and it's going to drop the granules and you're just gonna walk throughout your mulch bed, spread it all over your mulch bed. Now, one thing I will say is that if you have sandy soil, this right here will cover about 1200 square feet. If you have hard clay soil, this will cover about 600 square feet. And then if you have, you know, and you're not super hard clay, you're not sand, you're in the middle, it will cover right in the middle there around 900 square feet or so. Now, once you have your pre-emergent down, it is pretty important that we water it in. Just like when we do it on our lawn, we want to water it into the soil so that it can start working. We want to water it in on our flower bed. So either water it in about a quarter of an inch so it gets down into the soil and then let it dry before you plant your flowers. Um, because if not, you're gonna have a muddy mess whenever you try to plant your flowers. Or you can go ahead and just plant your flowers. If any of this stuff falls in the holes, you're gonna be just fine. I'm not too concerned about it. So I am trying to step my game up here with my flowers. Before in the past, I typically let Caroline, my daughter, pick out all the flowers, put them wherever she wants. There's no rhyme or reason to it. We just put them wherever we want. So I saw a picture online um, and I really like this look. It, I'm gonna try it. We will see if it turns out anything like it or if we're gonna be like that uh, show Nailed It. We're, we're probably gonna be more like that, that show Nailed It. So let's give it a shot. Hi, buddy. Yeah. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Uh-oh's right. You drop your passy? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna plop this down in here, okay? Okay. Okay. You ready to work, sis? Uh-oh. Are those the old ones? Yep, I, I moved yeah. them. Two. I moved them. Good. I got another one right here. Why are you yeah. planting the old ones again? Because I, I just told you I moved them. 
I'm moving things around, make it look better. I think it's gonna look real nice. But are you still gonna plant those ones? Yes. That one, we could I actually got some roots on it. We could probably, whoop, never mind. Oh, right there, see that worm? Oh, yeah. You wanna eat it? No. Will you touch it? No. What? Yeah. Touch it. Hey. Oh, wiggly worm. Hey, sis, no, 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 we don't need that. Put that back, please. Hmm? Put it back, please. Mm. <sighs> Stinker. <laughs> Let's put one of these new ones in here. We'll, we'll have to do more over there on that side. There's another worm. Where? Big old worm. Where? Wiggle, 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 Where? wiggle. Fat worm. Boo, shoo. Boo. Look at it. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. So definitely recommend getting something like this for your drill instead of hand shoveling. But even this right here in this hard clay didn't work nearly as well as this pro plugger. I'm really impressed with this thing. This thing, honestly, probably the most underpriced, undervalued, underrated tool. This thing is solid metal. I mean, I don't think that you could break that thing unless you like actually seriously beat on it. So. I did all these, made all these holes in like seven minutes. So definitely recommend the Pro Plugger for grass and for planting. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna go through here, put our flowers in, we'll be good to go. So we've got our stuff planted. We've got red begonias up front, yellow soleus right behind them, all the way through, except right here, this is all white begonias in the middle. Okay. And I don't know what to do right here. We've got to do something with this open space here. So if you have any ideas, let me know. But now, mulch. So there you have it. There is my mulch beds completely refreshed. We put down new flowers. We put down a pre-emergent to prevent weeds in the mulch. Now, before I get all the comments about dyed mulch, you know, go with hardwood, natural mulch. It's so much better. I don't care. I like the look of the black mulch, okay? I think it looks awesome. So like I said, we've got red begonias all around the front with the yellow soleus right behind them. White begonias here on the corner and then the red begonias and yellow soleus pick back up around the corner some liriope this is a um hydrangea we've got blue hydrangeas on it so it looks pretty cool this tree no clue it's not a very nice looking tree but i'm keeping it and then over here i've got two hostas you can only see one the other one's a little guy just barely popping out of the ground but it'll come up and then i had a small japanese maple right here but the frost got it because i suck didn't cover it and uh, it killed it. So if you guys have any suggestions for what I put right here on the corner, this is uh, pretty much the first thing people see when they come to my house or whenever they're walking up the driveway and on the sidewalks. Uh, I love Japanese maples, but they're so expensive. So if you have any other ideas or if I should just suck it up and get another Japanese maple, let me know. That is the work that we did to go in here, refresh the mulch bed, just change, we changed it up. We moved some of these hostas and things around. I think it looks awesome, but the real work begins. We gotta keep it watered. We gotta keep it fed. Subscribe so you do not miss out on all that good stuff. We'll see you guys. Mm -hmm.